Well, hello, Tipton Baptist Church. This is your Friday word of encouragement for Friday, September 22nd, 2022. I come to you today with a pitch to you uh, to consider coming to our Sunday evening devotions. Beginning this Sunday evening, uh, the church here at Tipton, the family here, we're, we're going to be beginning our Fighter Verse program, which is uh, a program geared for entire families to uh, get into and have devotion about and to be, then begin memorizing portions of Scripture uh, specifically geared to grow us in our faith. And as we do that, uh, this is a, a, just an invitation to you to perhaps come out and, and just to see. Uh, the program is geared to, to not be very long. Each week we'll be together uh, 30, 40 minutes max. But during that time, have time to fellowship, uh, be in a devotional about a verse, and also to begin memorizing the verse. Uh, all while in the background, there will be uh, some treats and some coffee and water and, and just light fare. So I encourage you and I invite you to come out to that. Uh, but the reason uh, why uh, the fighter verse study is what, is what we're gearing up to, to begin and then what road we're going to be traveling down together uh, is because of how necessary it is that we not only build a faith, but then we, we, we add to it, we, we grow it. Uh, whereas we come to faith in Jesus Christ by grace through faith, the gift of salvation, we, we come to this, it's a foundation to step on. It's a foundation, maybe looking at it as a structure, a foundation of a structure that God builds as our faith in Him grows, as our trust in Him grows, as our belief in Him grows. And He grows people's faith using His Word. That's what our study on Sunday morning is going to be, based in John chapter 4, beginning with verse 39. God growing faith by his word. People believe God because of his word. Uh, that's Paul's intent in Romans chapter 10. Faith comes by hearing and hearing about the word of Christ or hearing about Christ. And then, of course, we have uh, Paul's uh, massively influential direction, fight the good fight of faith. And we get that by being in the word of God, growing in understanding and internalizing the word of God. So I say all this to encourage you and I invite you out uh, uh, to to this study, to this devotional time Sunday evenings. It's meant for the whole family. Uh, I'm looking forward to having children there with their parents. It's, this is not a time for parents to, to come and drop the children off. And those are nice moments. And uh, Lord willing, in the future, we'll, we'll have more ministries like that. But this ministry is that parents and children stay together. And children can see parents who are valuing the Bible and valuing the Word of God so much that they're willing to commit just a few minutes each week to be together with their family here at Tipton and to hear the Word, to understand a passage, and then to begin memorizing it. And when children see their parents valuing that, children might just value it too. Put it this way, parents who value the Pittsburgh Steelers, the likelihood is children will value the Pittsburgh Steelers. So much more the Bible. So come out, parents, bring your kids, uh, they can learn to sit with you and see what you consider valuable. It's going to be a learning moment, and kids might get antsy, but I have a few materials geared for them, too, to, to help them into this study. I don't intend for them to come and to zone out while parents are memorizing. They're going to memorize, too, because children can. Just listen to them quote lyrics to any song. Children can memorize. So I have more for you. I'll explain it. This is the, the first week of it. The rationale is going to be given uh, for parents who are tech savvy. There's an app for this very program that is very convenient. You might find it to be uh, a great help in your spiritual growth as well as leading your family in spiritual growth for the parents. Uh, so I encourage you to come. Um, I'll leave you with this note from Martin Luther. Luther said this, Faith is a living, daring confidence in God's grace, so sure and certain that a man could stake his life on it a thousand times. I know not the way God leads me, but I well, but well do I know my guide. And I trust that as we're in the Bible together, and as we're in the, the scriptures together, hearing them and internalizing them and beginning to memorize them, where we put into our mind and then think and ponder it, and it changes our heart and our affections and our instruction and our directions and our pursuits. When we know the guide, when we know the one who's directing us personally, and are internalizing words of His and purposes of His, we don't have to know each step. We can trust that the steps that He has for us are right. And when our children learn this earlier than we did as adults, we're setting them up for success better than any success we could set children up for 
by training them in any sport or in any musician or musical instrument. Those are good things, but this will carry them into eternity, as well as us. And when you show up to the gates one day and the Lord asks you as parents and grandparents, where's the evidence to show that you led your family to me? This is a portion of time that you can point to and say, I was offered a chance with my family in Christ at Tipton to memorize your word, God, as it would change me and my family. And I took that opportunity. And might the Lord do great things with us as a family, leaning into his word together, memorizing portions of it. It's going to be neat to see what God does with us as a group as we memorize his word together. So I invite you to come out. I encourage you to consider that. Be in the words. Find the verses where Paul's given us instruction to fight the fight of faith, memorize the word of God, put it in our hearts, internalize it. Hear Paul write to the Romans, faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. Hear the writer to the Hebrews say, without faith it's impossible to please him. Our faith growing in the, the correlation to our growing faith and being in the word and memorizing the word, they're directly related. So again, I encourage you to come out. So we're going to be in John 4, as I mentioned earlier in this Friday Word of Encouragement. Uh, this Sunday, we're going to be in John 4, we're going back to the well, back into our study to see the Savior in the Gospel of John. I can't wait to be back in it with you. I look forward to seeing you Sunday, and until then, stay in the Word.